so welcome back to my channel i'm going to be showing you how to make this storage bag now sometimes storing things can be a hassle and this bag can be a lifesaver trust me you can save anything in the bag because it's breathable it means air can go through it at the same time it protects whatever it is from dust or whatever Okay, it's not waterproof, so <laughs> you just keep away from water. So, um, you can store your shoes, you can store your hair, you can store, I mean, anything in this bag. So, that's a ruler I used it to store right there. Now, that is a lot. So, I'm going to be showing you how to make this storage bag. And this storage bag um, is very easy and very simple. But I did not use it to store any of these things. Okay, I'll tell you that at the end of the video. If you want to know what I use it to do. <laughs> Anyways, um... I pick a piece of fabric this fabric is a silk fabric please use only silk fabric and this fabric is popularly called the organza fabric i'm going to be measuring 21 inches by 12 inches for this project i need you to note that i'm using two um, of this fabric i'm not using one so as you can see i folded it into two so once you fold it that way you measure um that 12 inches by the 21 inches that we took already so i'm going to be cutting this out um this is the only fabric i recommend for this particular project now you could use any other fabric but i like this one because it's transparent it means that you can see what you kept inside it i'll just iron that portion down so that it can be flat and makes it easy for us to work with it so i've ironed and i'll just smoothing out the uneven edges with my scissors haven't done that i didn't know how to describe the next thing i'm going to do but just watch how i'm going to do it so i'll pick one side of the fabric and just fold it in like this i hope you got that so i'll do that and i'll use a pin to hold it or you can actually use an iron to iron it down my iron is far so i just use a pin instead haven't done that from the beginning to the end the next thing to do is to either use a sewing machine to sew it or use a needle and a thread to sew it whichever way would work fine just make sure if you're using a needle you make it um, tight and strong so i've pinned it now and this is what it looks like i'll go and use my sewing machine to do it and then i'll bring it back so i've done it right now and i've removed the pins the next thing i'm going to do is just to fold this in like this so i'll fold it and pick the other end and do exactly what we did at the beginning so this is how i'm going to be doing that i'll pin it down i'll do it all the way down this way let's head for the sewing machine so this is what it looks like and we just fold it in the first time fold it in the second time and put it into the sewing machine and just run it through So having done that, I'll just do that for the other end. So do that first and second. Put it inside it and just run it through. So that's it i'll just tighten up the stitches and cut out the excess thread and that's it so the next thing i'm going to be doing now is to pick a bias tip so i'm going to be picking a bias tip that is measuring 13 inches you could make yours more i recommend more and not less so what i'm going to be doing here is that i'm going to be attaching it to somewhere around the top i decided to just fold it that way and run it through to make it smaller but honestly it's unnecessary so this is it i'll just put this um, on the edge you remember that point where we did the first stitch so that's what forms the top of this bag i'll just attach this handle here put it into my sewing machine and just sew it together or in case of where i use a needle and a thread just a needle and a thread to hold it you know, severally and it to stay put if you haven't subscribed to this channel please subscribe and tell me if this video was useful to you or if there's any way i could have made it better the rope is actually to tie it together right <laughs> anyway so that's it so 
um, this is how the bag would look like and there are several things like I showed you earlier that we could use this bag to fix actually so um, amongst all these things that I mentioned at the beginning of the video I didn't use it for any of these things what I used this bag for was pineapple juice <laughs> Surprise. If you want to know how I use this, I did a pineapple juice tutorial on my other channel, Surfing's Expressions. Just run there, check it out, and do the needful subscribe and all Thanks of that. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.